So, as I said, welcome to the Alan Turing Institute, named after the great man, uh, Alan Turing. Um, and he, he said the importance of searching for new techniques must be regarded as carried out by the human community as a whole. And that's one thing we try to do here. We're very inclusive um, and we want you all to feel part of that community. The programme that, that sponsors this event, and I should say a thank you to the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation for their, um, their grant to support this work, um, is really about ensuring that we put people at the heart of digital identity. So digital identity has got an amazing power to transform the lives of people. And we're already seeing that in some countries around the world. Unfortunately, identity can also be used in ways to surveil communities, and that can then be used to, to create some harm. So what's really important to myself, John, and the others on the, on the program is really to make sure that we have trustworthy digital identity. So what we want to do is work together to support the UN's Sustainable Development Goal, 16.9, um, where we're going to help the 1 billion who do not have currently a legal ID. Talking of 16.9, today is the 16th of September, 16 of 9, and it has been called for as an International Identity Day uh, today. So you'll probably hear um, quite a bit of um, uh, traffic on Twitter today about this. So there's an organization that more than 100 um, or uh, different entities joining together to call for um, national identity. And that shows the importance. If we're going to have that scheme, don't have a, a national identity scheme in the UK, but if we're going to have that, that it is trustworthy. So what we want to do is we want to confront the uh, evolving risks that, there, that exist, and we want to advance knowledge um, in, in the area. Oh, sorry. Wrong way. So this is an overview of our program uh, that we have. So we, we actually work in a number of different streams. And the basic idea is that what we want to do is we want to start with creating new knowledge. So we've got a bunch of very talented researchers here at the Turing that are creating new ideas. And what we want to do is then pull those th ideas through into development. So working with um, our REG team, so we have a research engineering group here at the, uh, at the Institute. Just for the online audience. Oh, really sorry. Know. Yeah. So I've stood away a little. Sorry about that. I know you. Thank you for telling me, Kate. OK, so what we're doing is we're pulling through to development. So there are GitHub repos available now with some of the algorithms and ideas that we've pushed through. Uh, and some of the results. But our main aim is to see this implemented, this trustworthy digital ID. So not trusted, people trust things that they maybe shouldn't trust, but really trustworthy, somewhere to measure how trustworthy uh, an identity system is. So for trustworthiness, we think about the security, the privacy, the ethics of, of an identity system. How reliable is it? How robust and how resilient is it? So our work takes in um, a number of streams, including threat and risk modeling, understanding what the threats are, who are the threat actors, who would try to compromise a digital identity system, understanding the risk, what's the impact and who to. There could be technical impacts, but there could be impacts on the society as a whole or individuals or even worse, specific groups within society. So we want to try and understand new dynamic risk modeling techniques. We've been working on real-time governance, understanding that identity and the digital sphere is changing all of the time. So what we need to do is be able to monitor systems and adapt them to give effective governance. And we're working on privacy enhancing technology, something that's of major interest globally right now. It's of interest to many regulators. These techniques allow us to protect the privacy of individuals 
And there's a lot of work going on. John and I both sit on a, a Royal Society working group on privacy enhancing technologies. And a report will be released um, next month on the state of privacy enhancing technologies currently. And what we're trying to do is pull all this through together through a digital uh, identity framework. So a way that we can assess digital identity systems around the world. So we've got a lot going on uh, at the Turing, all leading to trying to give us this fair and inclusive world. And the people in this room, the people online are all part of that community on that journey with us to deliver something that we hope will give real impact and change people's lives.